Okay, in this video, let's take a look at how to complete a truth table from a logic expression. In the example here, we can see quite a long logic expression and it needs turning into a truth table so we can work out all the possible outputs based on all the different inputs, A, B and C. Now it's such a big logic expression that I wouldn't fancy trying to come up with the answer straight away. We need to find some intermediary uh, working out points as we go along. This long logic expression can be viewed really as a series of mini logic problems that need to be solved before we can come up with a solution for the entire logic expression. So I've color coded here how those uh, mini problems may look. Each mini problem can be a series or a step on the truth table to help us get to our final answer. So we're going to go through a series of steps now where we're going to slowly extract these mini problems and turn them into a temporary letter in the truth table that will then help us get the final answer. Now where do we start? Because there's a lot of brackets on this expression. I would start with the most deep problem we've got here. In other words, go as deep as you can into the brackets and start with those problems first and work your way back out through the brackets. So in green we can see not B. That not B is a problem inside of brackets inside of another set of brackets so it's nested quite far in the brackets. So we'll sort that out first. So we'll take that not B, we'll call it D and we'll put that into the truth table. Why did I choose D? Well I'm just choosing letters that don't exist yet. Okay, it doesn't really matter what you call them. So now we've shortened the expression now we can look at our next set of brackets, um, go as deep as we can, we can see that red set of brackets A nor C is the next problem that would need to be sorted out. So we can drag that down into the truth table and we'll call that E. So E is A nor C and I've replaced that in the expression with an E. The next thing we'll do is we'll look at that orange yellow mini problem D nor C, we'll bring that down into the truth table and we've simplified the expression even further there now. Next up we've got uh, purple and light blue to choose from so we'll deal with the purple first so E and F. Let's drag that down and let's replace that with a G in the main expression so now we're left with G or A and B in brackets so finally A and B is a mini problem that needs resolving so Let's bring A and B down into the truth table. We'll call that H. So now we're left with G or H. We'll solve our expression. Um, so let's bring G and H down, G or H down as our output. So all we've got to do, I say all we've got to do, but we've got to solve G or H to work out the outputs for this truth table. But of course, before we can do that, you would need to work through all the mini sub problems that we've created here. Um, and eventually you'll be able to then work on the final issue of the output of X. So quite a lot of steps, but if you follow it through, it should work. So go to logic expression, find the most deepest mini problem, convert it into a temporary letter, work your way through those mini problems, and eventually your truth table will be complete, and then you can work on the output.